Okay, so I want to show you how you can use keywords to do searches in Lightroom so that you can find a particular image. In my case, I've got about almost 25,000 images that I have to sort through. So if I've got a particular image in mind, or at least a subject matter in mind, um, for me using the keywords is really helpful. What I'm going to do here is um, the picture that I'm trying to find, or the selection of pictures I'm trying to find, I know I just recently took, so sometime in 2014. That's just the way that I organize my catalog. I break it down by year. Um, I'm going to go to the top of the screen here. I'm in the library module in the grid view, and I have this filter bar at the top. Now, if you don't see that filter bar, click the forward slash on your keyboard, and that will toggle it on and off. So I've got it off. I'll hit it again to toggle it on. And the filter that I want to use is text, so I'm going to highlight text. And there's a couple of drop down menus. One will give you different types of text that are searchable. In this case, we're going to use keywords. And then the second set has a couple of different kind of constraints, I guess you'd call them, to eliminate or to include more or less um, information. So I'm going to use the one that says contains words. And one reason that I'm going to do that too is um, sometimes I sort, and I'm going to do on this time too, I'm going to search for my son whose name is Ty, T-Y. I did contain, I think I did contain the other day, and um, I put in Ty, and everything that had to do with party, which ends in T-Y, showed up as well. First I was a little confused, and then I realized that that's what happened. So I'm going to use contains words. And over in this little box, I'm going to enter Ty, because I know I want pictures of that particular sun. So out of the 5,193 images that are in my 2014 folder, 823 of them are tagged with Ty. Well, that's still a lot to look through, so let's add a comma. And I want to find a picture of him playing soccer. So I'm going to type in soccer. So I've eliminated a few hundred pictures. I've got 575 of him playing soccer, which seems like a lot for one year, but whatever. Um, but I want to go one step further. How about the time when he played goalie? He hasn't done it too often, so let's see what I've got there. I'll type in goalie. Sure enough, I've got 25 pictures of him playing goalie. And so by using that search criteria, I've really narrowed it down, so now I can find you know, one picture that I really wanted to take a look at. So another way to do a search is to use um, metadata up here in the filter bar. So for now I'm going to clear out Thai, Soccer, and Goalie. And I'm going to click on metadata. So now what happens is you get kind of a, a drop down where you have all of the different keywords that are associated with the items or the in images that are in this particular folder. So I've got out of um, this 5,193 pictures in this folder, I've assigned 94 different keywords to them. So it's going to make it a little bit trickier to find the ones that I was looking for, but let's give it a shot. So we, what do we have? We had Thai, soccer, and goalie. So let's see, here's goalie. That actually might do it right there. But in this case, I'm going to go over to the right side and I'm going to use this little drop down menu and hit add a column. And up here where it says none, I'm going to type or go to where it says keyword, which is up here. And now I'm going to click on tie. I'm going to do it one more time for soccer. Now in this case it's not going to help me too much because because I used goalie and I only had a few pictures with goalie as um, a keyword, it's made it a lot easier to find it. But, you know, think if you had a whole bunch of different keywords, if you had thousands and thousands of pictures, or if I had, you know, a bunch of, of him playing goalie, I'd want to, or somebody playing goalie, I'd want to use other keywords to help find those as well. So again, I found all of the pictures of, of him playing goalie um, during soccer season. Now for me, for actually finding a particular image, I don't find using the metadata filter as, um, I guess, as easy as using the text filter in the filter bar. But I'm going to show you a reason why it is very beneficial. And I'm going to go over to the right-hand side and just remove this first column. 
can remove the second column as well. And I'm going to jump over to my, my entire library, so all 24,000 images, and I'm going to click on metadata. And I'm going to go to the top, where, and I've got it in keyword, and I'm going to say none. Now what I've been presented is a list of, or a group of 4,233 images that don't have any keywords associated with them. So that's just kind of a good housekeeping type of thing to use to go ahead and look at those pictures, see if I need to even keep them or not, and then if I want to still keep them, to add the proper keywords to them so that in the future I can find those pictures as you know, easily as I did the ones of Ty playing goalie. Another way to use the metadata filter is if you go to the left-hand corner where it says keyword and click on that, you get a drop-down menu of a whole bunch of different types of metadata fields that you can do your searches on. So you could search, you know, by, let's see, city, country, um, different types of camera information. Maybe you shoot a bunch of different cameras and you want to find out either which one you favor or, um, you know, which one that you use most often. Maybe there's a lens that you don't use that often and you want to start working using that lens a little bit more frequently. You can find all that information by using these different drop-down menus and filtering your pictures that way too. So it's pretty helpful and, and I'll probably put together another video showing you some different ways where you can use multiple uh, different types of metadata to really narrow your search and, and to learn kind of about your photography and, and about the, the camera equipment that you're using. So just to review, you've got a couple of different ways that you can filter your images by using the filter bar at the top of the library module. Again, if you don't see it, use a forward slash to toggle it on and off. And you can go ahead and, and search by text, metadata, and um, really narrow down your search to find that one picture that you're really looking for. But that also means that you have to do a really good job of including keywords on all your images. And in episode four, I taught you how to, taught you how to do that. So well, I hope you have a better understanding of how to find your images using keywords in Lightroom 5. Thanks for watching and please check back for more helpful tips. Thanks.